In our previous lectures, we learned how to write recurrence relations or recurrences of any recursive algorithm and we also learned how to solve those recurrence relations. Now in this presentation, we will solve problem 1 based on recurrences or recurrence relations using substitution method. Here is the problem. Determine the time complexity of the following algorithm. This is the algorithm rec of n. We can observe this algorithm is the recursive algorithm because in the body of this algorithm, rec of n minus 1 is called. So, rec of n is calling itself within its own body. Clearly, this is the recursive algorithm and we learned how to find the time complexity of the recursive algorithm. In order to find the time complexity of the recursive algorithm, we need to write the recurrence relation of that algorithm first and then we can solve that recurrence relation using the substitution method. We learned just one method to solve the recurrence relation but there are many methods to solve the recurrence relation. We will learn those methods as we proceed in this course. But right now, we are familiar with the substitution method. So, let's try to write the recurrence relation of time of this algorithm and let's try to solve the recurrence relation using the substitution method. We need to write the recurrence relation of time because we are required to find the time complexity of this algorithm. So, now we know what are the steps involved. We need to write the recurrence relation first and then we need to solve it using the substitution method. Let's remove this problem statement and let's focus on this algorithm and let's try to solve it. Here we need to find the time complexity. Let's first write the recurrence relation of time. Here we have rec of n and within this we have the base case and the recursive case. The base case is if n is equal to 1, then return 1 from this algorithm. Otherwise, return 2 times rec of n minus 1 plus n. Now, how do we write the recurrence relation of time of this algorithm? It is simple. We already know how to do this. According to the definition of the recurrence relation, a recurrence relation is a mathematical expression which is used to describe the cost of the overall problem in terms of the cost of the smaller subproblems. Here the cost is time. So, let us suppose that the time required to solve this algorithm rec of n is t of n. Now we need to represent tn in terms of the time required to solve these smaller subproblems. That is, we need to represent Tn in terms of the time required to solve the base case and the time required to solve the recursive case. Now, let's start with the base case. Here we have if n equal to 1, then return 1. Returning some value takes constant amount of time and the comparison also takes constant amount of time. Therefore, T of 1 is equal to some constant, let's say C. So, t of 1 is equal to c. Why am I saying t of 1 is equal to c? We know tn represents the time required to solve rec of n. If n is equal to 1, then we know we are at rec of 1 and hence the time required to solve rec of 1 will be t of 1. And the time required to solve t of 1 is constant. That's why t1 is equal to c. Now, what about the recursive case? This is also the subproblem. Here we have return 2 times rec of n minus 1 plus n. We know the time required to solve rec of n is t of n. Therefore, the time required to solve rec of n minus 1 will be t of n minus 1. And here we are multiplying rec of n minus 1 by 2. This will take constant time because multiplication takes constant time. And we are also adding n to it and this will also take constant time because addition also takes constant time. And returning the entire value will also take constant time. So, t of n minus 1 will be the time required to solve rec of n minus 1 and the additional time required is constant. Therefore, the recurrence relation of time is as follows. 
Tn is equal to Tn minus 1 plus C if n is greater than 1. If n is equal to 1, then Tn is equal to C. This is the base case Tn equal to C. We know if n is equal to 1, that's what I have written here, then the time required is constant. If n is greater than 1, this means if else block will be executed, then the time required to solve this recursive algorithm will be T of n minus 1 plus C. So, this is the recurrence relation of time of this algorithm. Now, we need to solve this recurrence relation using the substitution method. Let's do this now. Let's create some space over here for the rest of the solution. For this, let's shift this recurrence relation over here. Now, we have some space to solve this recurrence relation. In order to solve this recurrence relation or this recurrence using the substitution method, we need to start with the recursive case. That is Tn equal to Tn minus 1 plus C. Here we have Tn equal to Tn minus 1 plus C. Now we are ready to apply the substitution method. According to the substitution method, we can substitute Tn minus 1 by Tn minus 2 plus C. Because if we replace n by n minus 1 here, we will get Tn minus 1 in the left hand side. And in the right hand side, we will get Tn minus 2 plus C. So Tn minus 1 is same as Tn minus 2 plus C. Therefore, we can substitute Tn minus 1 by Tn minus 2 plus C. So, new Tn is Tn minus 2 plus C plus C. We are writing plus C as it is here and Tn minus 1 is replaced by Tn minus 2 plus C. We can rewrite this expression as Tn minus 2 plus 2C because C plus C is 2 times C. So, Tn is equal to Tn minus 2 plus 2 times C. Now we can substitute Tn minus 2 by Tn minus 3 plus C because if we replace n by n minus 2 here, we will get Tn minus 3 here and we will get C here. So Tn minus 2 is equal to Tn minus 3 plus C. So let's replace Tn minus 2 by Tn minus 3 plus C and the new Tn so obtained is Tn minus 3 plus 3C because C plus 2C is 3C. Now the pattern is clear. Here we have 1 and here we have 1 times C. Here we have 2 and here we have 2 times C. Here we have 3 and here we have 3 times C. So if we proceed like this up to Tn minus K, here we must have K times C. So Tn is equal to Tn minus K plus K times C. This is the generalized expression. Now we know Tn represents the time required to solve rec of n. Tn minus 1 is the time required to solve rec of n minus 1. Tn minus 2 is the time required to solve rec of n minus 2. So Tn minus k must be the time required to solve rec of n minus k. Let us assume rec of n minus k is the last recursive call. This means the base case must be satisfied. And this means n minus k must be equal to 1. Then only the base case will be satisfied and 1 will be returned. We know that for Tn, if n is equal to 1, then constant amount of time will be required to solve the problem. We are assuming n minus k is equal to 1. Therefore, we will get T1 here and we know T1 is equal to constant. So, this will be replaced by constant C. As we have assumed N minus K is equal to 1, then K must be equal to N minus 1. So, now we can replace N minus K by 1 here and we can replace K by N minus 1 here. So, we will get T1 here and n minus 1 here. At this point, we have Tn equal to T1 plus n minus 1 times C. Now here, we have n minus 1 times C. We will get n times C minus C here. 
and here we will get c because t1 is equal to c now we have c plus n times c minus c we can cancel these two terms and we will be left with n times c so tn is equal to n times c asymptotically we can write this as big o of n so tn is equal to big o of n we have eliminated the constant c we are left with n that's why i have written big o of n here this is the worst case time complexity and worst case time complexity can be represented using the big o notation and the best case happens when n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 then 1 will be returned and hence the problem will take constant amount of time so in that case tn will be constant and therefore the best case complexity will be omega of 1 so tn is big o of n and we are interested in the worst case time complexity that's why i have mentioned this in big o notation so we know this is the amount of time needed to solve this problem so we now know the time complexity of this algorithm is big o of n so we have solved this problem successfully we now know what is the time complexity of this algorithm we just followed a simple step by step process first we wrote the recurrence relation of time of this algorithm and then we solved that recurrence relation using the substitution method and eventually we got the time complexity of this algorithm which is big o of n so with this we are done with the problem and this means we are done with this presentation okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one